All right, what's going on, everybody? Super. Let me take this away, cause in the past videos, it's been sounding really loud. Yeah, but anyways, what's up, everybody? Super to one here, and today we have part five um of the division. Now I'm gonna tell you a little story real quick. Um, the part five and part six I've already recorded, and I'll show you what I mean if we go to the map real quick. Where is it? This mission. I always lose it right here. We've already done it. I've already done it because I did the mission, but it turns out that the um the video didn't record any audio. So now I have to make it again, which sucks a lot. But hey, what can st what, what's going to stop me from making videos? The thing about Mario Maker videos is that Nintendo always flag it for copyright no matter what it is. A song from Super Mario Brothers 3, this and that, they just flag it. And it's not like one of the big copyright things, it's just like copyright. To where you can't earn money on it, so while I'm doing those videos, I'm not earning any ad revenue. It's all going straight to Nintendo, you greedy. But hey, I love Nintendo. For you guys who don't know, I do have an Instagram page. It's underscore super big tune one. And I do have a Facebook page. It's just super big tune one. It's pretty easy to find. It's going to have the same profile picture of Sora and his Kingdom Hearts 3 outfit as my channel. Morning. Additional hostiles detected. What the? Did we choose? The we chose the wrong mission. Son of a. okay I'm looking just calm down but yeah I was playing the dark zone on my other profile because I did get to level um 30 on my other profile I was playing it and I found a high end and then I what's it called I accidentally sold it so I'm a little sad all right now we can find the right mission let's go to map Sorry if the like audio is like really loud. Let's see. We want this one. All right. Oh, I'm gonna start reading the description for it too. In okay. <coughs> Infected civilians have sought shelter in a camp at the Hudson Rail Yards. Secure the civilians to ensure Doctor Candle and her staff can retrieve critical blood samples. Because if you don't, everybody will die. That's how I'm gonna read descriptions. Yeah, and it really takes a long time. Oh yeah, and Bungie on what's it called was talking about Destiny the other day and how they like upgraded the Prison of Elders. But I really thought that I hope they reveal that they upgraded um the new raids because if they didn't, I'm gonna be pretty mad. I'm still gonna what's it called play the Prison of Elders because Prison of Elders was pretty fun when we first got it. Morning, contamination levels increasing. You hear that, Agent? You're walking into the teeth of it now. Don't forget what I said about keeping any infected refugees alive. I mean, oh, obviously shit, we're at the end of this mission. Keep them all alive, but I need those virus samples, and I really need viable antibodies. Are we at the end? Because if we are, so I really don't keep care. Keep them extra alive, I guess. You know what I'm saying. I'm going back to work now. Candle out. Okay, we're not that far. But yeah, okay, so I'm just. As soon as you lock the situation down, I've got a joint Sarah JTF strike force ready to move in. They'll take samples from as many refugees as they can find. Medical. All right, so. I'm just going to recap the mission real quick. The mission is basically, just as the description said, at the beginning, what's it called? We go through, I don't even, yeah, we just went through a rail yard real quick to get to here. 
and we just want to go find infected civilians and but now we're actually trying to stop them from dropping a napalm on them oh, are you serious which we're, we're trying to stop these people from dropping a napalm in the rail yard so they can kill all the infected people so that's basically what we're doing now to run down and just like before I'm sucking I'm down again I'm not even about to say anything. <laughs> Alright, come on. Let's go. No, oh, why did I shoot that there? Get away from me. No! God. Oh my god, who is shooting me now? But this game is pretty fun if I don't say it for myself. Because after we, what's it called, we play it all here, I am going to review it. And all I have to say is though, it's not groundbreaking. And you, like, I don't know, I think I talked about this in the last episode, or I talked about in the episode that I deleted. This game, people try to compare this game to Destiny, and I heard one of a few people compare it to Borderlands, when it can't be compared to any of those, because while it is a, a what's it called, a RPG, and it's a shooter at the same time there's one huge difference between destiny and borderlands and this game is that destiny and borderlands Warning. are literally are like covered in like fantasy borderlands is about a different world and destiny is about you going a different world while this one you just like stay in manhattan so it's cloaked in a little bit of realism um, because like a virus like this could happen and like something like sleeper agents could be real but in Borderlands, we're not gonna go to no planet named Pandora and fight vault monsters. We're not. We're not gonna do that. So see, that's the one thing why we really can't compare these games. I really don't know what else game could compare this to. Like, if I ever find a game that's like, what's it called? That's a little like this, then we can compare it to some. But right now, it's like the what's it called? It's the only realistic, what's it called, RPG. It's like things like, like any game where it's not like set in like the real world like this. Like Destiny, while it is set on Earth, it's set in a, like what's it called, a really like, what's it called, damaged Earth to where humanity is literally extinct. And this is just about if we don't stop this, humanity is going to be extinct. Extinct. So see, that's the one thing. But the game is fun. It's not anything groundbreaking. Because all I have to say for the story is it suffers from what Destiny does. And it's that it ch trades in, what's it called? The story is longer than Destiny. Don't get me wrong. Destiny was like seven missions. And this one, what's it called? The missions are more evenly based out to where you have to like play with more people to um, beat the missions. While Destiny, I beat the whole game solo. In this game, they up the difficulty really hard when you get to the last like the, the last few missions. Unlike Destiny, where I where you could beat the whole game without even reaching level 20, you have to be close to level 30, like 30, like 27 on here, to at least get past. Not even 27, maybe like 28 to get past the la the final mission. Okay, yeah, we're at the ending. Excuse me, doctor. So that's something like is really cool, but it it suffers the same fate from Destiny, to which the story is like it's there, but there's a few things that what's it called that they couldn't like went off of for the story that would have made the game ten times better. Like for example, um, you could skip to like 9:30 because I'm a, you could skip this because just skip to like a, like 11 or 10 minutes in the video if you don't want to hear this, but. If you don't want the game spoiled, but if you don't care, so three, two, one. I'm about to spoil it. There's um, what's it called? Once you get to a certain point in the game, remember this is a spoiler, so if you don't want to hear this, skip further. Um, you have to fight things called rogue agents, which if you play the Dark Zone, that's agents that kill their agents. But there was a like one like top one. I think he was like the first rogue agent and stuff, and he was like behind all the things. He was pulling the strings and everything. And they didn't go further on that. He was introduced in one mission, and he was an unknown agent. Nobody knew who he was. Then they they revealed his name. It was like Aaron something. He was like Aaron, and then his name last name was a C K. And they what's it called? They introduced him for one mission, and that was it. That was 
They introduce him in one mission as Rogue Agent, and then they introduce him as his name. And then at the end of the game, once you beat it, you have to, what's it called, go to Unknown Signal. It turns out this one guy, I forgot his name, who, what's it called, was a, mine, was a prime suspect, was killed by him, and all he does is talk to you. You don't have a final con confrontation for you. And the final boss, skip this part if you don't really want to spoil it, because skip this. Okay, wait, let me still talk about, what's it called, the foam. There's rogue agents, and there's more rogue agents. There's another rogue agent. Actually, you have to find that same mission once you find out a rogue, rogue agent. But they don't build his character. You kill him when you first, what's it called, find out that he's a rogue agent. To me, that was a wasted opportunity to, like, build it up. Like, the real thing that's going on is that rogue, that the first wave of agents, half of them became rogue, so that's what happened to him, and that's why the second wave is activated. But they didn't do anything like that. They just introduced rogue agents, introduced it... Like on Destiny, they what's it called? There was at the end, and they had the um the heart, the, the dark heart that you had to kill. There was no explanation for what that was, why the Vex were praying to it or anything. And that's what I kind of see right here. There was no explanation for why they went rogue. Well, there was a little because they what's it called? They just seen all their friends die and everything. So see, they couldn't like expand it on that and everything. But they didn't. They ended it right. Okay, so if you're still watching right now, I'm sorry if you get spoiled, but like this is going to be like what's it called? I'm gonna spoil a little- Oh, I killed him! And to me, that was really, like, really not cool. Because they could have expanded on it so much, but they just decided, yeah, we're gonna leave this here. So yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on this game, is that it's fun. Don't get me wrong, this game is fun. It's one of the funnest games I've played in months. But it's just the story is, what's it called? They had so- it had so much- just like Destiny, it had so much potential. But they decided to like just like move everything too fast and like I said the final boss uh, I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys because you guys might think it's pretty tight who you fight But to me it was really stupid because I would like to like the boss to be like a, a suit rogue agent What's it called with hell of body armor on because that would have been tight He came out in like what's it called like some type of juggernaut suit and you had to like piece by piece tear off the juggernaut But it's not it's kind of like that you're fighting something that's bigger than you But it's not worth it to me so like yeah I think I might put an annotation on the screen, if so, what's it called? Just skip spoilers. I don't want to like, because, yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on the story. Just like, like I already said, just like Destiny. Huge amount, 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 amount of potential. They just did an attack on it, because they introduced so many things that would have been awesome conclusions to the story. Only to make the conclusion of the story something that I wasn't even paying attention to the game. It was I was paying more attention to the rogue agents than I was who was really the final boss. Yeah, we should be almost done with this mission. Yeah, sorry you guys couldn't see this whole mission, but it's not really what's it called. I already gave you the rundown. We had to go get samples. And then the cleaners were trying to know what's it called burn down this place so we couldn't so yeah Ooh, I'll take that M1911 was it M1911? yes it was M1911 and it's better than my gun agent if you can find the crane controls drop that tank someplace safe so yeah like I was saying this is the part I was talking about where they drop a napalm on them I thought Napalm would do more damage, watch. I thought it would do, hold on. That's, that's... That should do it, agents. Solid work. Yes, Let's good go work. Real quick. Now, sample team, listen up. Like I was saying, Same I'm going to need those blood work. samples labeled and organized so we can track corroborating factors. What is what is Let's the effect of napalm? To a different channel so we don't bore the agent. It is a mixture of a gelling agent and either petroleum or a similar fuel. It was initially used as an incendiary device against buildings and later primarily as an anti-personnel weapon as it sticks to skin and causes severe burns when on fire. Oh god. Christ. 
That sounds like that. That sounds painful. It sticks to your skin. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this um much shorter episode. And then what's it called? I usually do um like, subscribe, and comment for the division because I'm beating this whole game. Next month when um hold on when is Dark Souls Three coming out? Real quick, I forgot. It's coming out like April twelfth, I think. Hold on, I'm just looking for the release date real quick. Cause uh, it came out in Mar it came out March something for Japan, but for the Western we have to wait till April twelfth. I was right. So yeah, I might have that game when what's it called come out. So like, subscribe, and comment for more of the division and for more YouTube videos. Um, right after this, I'm actually gonna record part six because the last time I recorded this part, part five and part six were of the same mission. But now, part five is done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and comment. Just like I said for like third time. For more videos, peace out.